there is no manager sitting up there and managing you. This is what karma means, that you understand you are the source of your life. Will you make sure it is the conscious activity that you perform which will rule the destiny of your life? This is something you have to decide. Guru, one question on karma. Um, oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can good karma cancel out bad karma? And what did you do today? <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking for humanity, not my, not for myself. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, is our life predestined, or can we change it by karma? And what is good karma? Ah, uh, so let's understand this word. I know this has become part of English lexicon. Oh, karma is an English word now. <laughs> the word karma means action. As you sit here, there is physical action going on, there is mental action going on, emotional activity going on, energy activity going on in every one of us. Whether you're awake or asleep, four dimensions of karma are happening all the time. Since you woke up today morning, except for that bad karma you did <laughs> No, you don't have to reveal that <laughs> Since you woke up today morning till this moment, just a few hours, how much of these four dimensions of karma did you perform consciously? Should I answer? Hmm? Um, I… I was not conscious while performing my actions, they just happened and I'm saying for almost every human being is well below one percent. If you take in a day, well below one percent. So when ninety-nine percent of your actions are accidental or unconscious, you do one thing, you just drive here. Here the traffic is very slow, it's safe to try this experiment. Ninety-nine percent of the time, just close your eyes and simply sit like this. Once in a way, handle the steering. Let's see where you will be in five minutes <laughs> This is a disaster of human life. So you must understand this, this is the most profound dimension of Eastern cultures that we told you your life is your karma. This means your life is your making. There is no manager sitting I'm not talking about you guys <laughs> There's no manager sitting up there and managing you. Your life is your karma. The way you make… do it is the way it happens. There is no… S no other way. Only because over ninety-nine percent is happening unconsciously, it looks like some other force is manipulating you. All bad drivers are like this, when they get into some kind of a crash, I was driving properly only, something happened <laughs> Have you heard this? <laughs> something happened, something supernatural happened and I crashed my car. No, you're just a dumb driver <laughs> So the same thing goes for life. The same thing goes for life that we constantly reminded you. Now in this generation it's lost in probably Maybe your mother or let's say your grandmother's generation, if they sit down, stood up, they said a karma, prarabdha, mukti, moksha. These are proper day-to-day -day conversation, not spiritual conversation. Yes or no? Every day. It's time you bring it back because karma means you're reminding yourself, everything that I'm doing and not doing is my fundamental responsibility. If you ask me, people have been asking, I have not articulated this till recently, but some people have been asking me, so I am these days talking to them and I am saying, what is the mission, they ask me. I say, the mission is just this, religion to responsibility. You think it is there, no it's here. This is what karma means, that you understand you are the source of your life. Is there no other force working in the universe? Yes it is. But even to harness this, see, he harness that is your business, isn't it? Hello? Even to harness that is your business, otherwise what's the point? So karma means your life is your making. There is nothing else that can decide. If you take charge of your body, 
let's say you have some mastery over your physical body, fifteen to twenty percent of your life and destiny will be in your hands. If you take charge of your mental process, fifty to sixty percent of your life and destiny will be in your hands. If you take charge of your basic life energy into your hands, one hundred percent of your life and destiny will be in your hands. Every young person must first explore this dimension before you step out into the world and mess other people. Yes, very important. But uh, what is the fix for the morning's bad karma <laughs> You must understand karma is not like reward and punishment system. It is just residual memory within yourself. Everything, every thought, every emotion, every action, every movement that you do, in some way is recorded in the, into this. This memory creates a tendency for you because so much memory is gathered naturally. It's like software, you're writing unconscious software every moment. See, if you walk from here to here, I'm telling you, there are at least twenty-five different kinds of smells. You're not conscious unless something is very strong, acute, in some way, in a positive or negative way, then you will notice, otherwise you're not noticing. You will see if a dog passes, he's just figuring out you, what you have done, what you have not done, your good karma, bad karma, everything is just figuring out. <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> You also are conscious, you, your system also is perceiving it because your neurological system is far more superior to the dog's neurological system. Do you agree with me? Hello? Dog lovers, is it okay <laughs> Human neurological system is far more advanced than any other creature, you also capable. But because of cerebral activity, you're missing it. You do one thing, just go live in the jungle for some time, you will see suddenly your sense of smell, you just know everything just by raising your nose a little bit. Sticking your nose out, you just know what's coming, what's going. You will see in the villages in India, they'll say it's going to rain today, you understand? Nothing, no sign of rain, no cloud, no nothing. He'll simply… and he'll say it's going to rain today and it will because the changes are happening in the atmosphere. So. Because of this unconscious nature, if you walk from here to here, these twenty-five smells, for example, are all recorded in the system. And all like this, visual inputs, audio inputs, everything is recorded, recorded, recorded. Depending upon the type of material you've taken in, slowly you'll develop an unconscious tendency. Suddenly you'll like this, not something else, because of the kind of inputs you've taken in. These tendencies, traditionally, because you're coming to, from the scripture, traditionally we call this vasanas. Vasana is a very good expression because vasana literally means smell. So, depending upon the type of smell, accordingly you draw that type of life towards you or you move in that direction, that's what they're trying to say. But this is essentially, put to put it in modern terminology, you're building an unconscious software, so naturally it begins to function in a certain way. It doesn't matter what is the software, can you rewrite it? Of course you can, that is also your karma. So will you allow unconscious activity that you have performed to rule the nature and destiny of your life or will you make sure it is the conscious activity that you perform which will rule